from Maine and Gervais. Tuesday morning here on a tasty Tuesday. We're going to head south of the border, or at least a block down Main Street. Cantana 76, <laughs> Chef David Grilla joins us this morning, my friend. And boy, there is nothing like a good salsa. Yes, sir. It is true. That's true. So once you could tell me how you make some really tasty treats. Yes, sir. Today we're going to make a little bit of pico de gallo. Pico de yeah. gallo. Pico de gallo. What's the difference uh, between that and salsa? Well, uh, salsa is a blended and sometimes cooked down. Mm -hmm. um, pico de gallo is what they call like a salsa fresca, you know. Okay. Um, and it's a great accompaniment or garnish to a lot of dishes, tacos, entrees, sure. meat, soups, bacon. anything like that. Bacon. bacon All right. Always. All right. Let's go ahead. A pico de gallo. All How right. Do we do pico this de gallo. Chef? So I got my bowl here. We got right. some diced onions. Okay. Okay. Real easy. Go ahead and get in there. There you go. Yeah. All right. We got a little diced tomatoes. All right. Okay. Slide that over. Lots of cilantro. All right. If this you is notice, a, this is actually incredibly easy. It is, and it's the Mexican flag too. Red, white, and green. Got right to take a look at that right there. How about that? All right. Go ahead. Got a little bit of diced jalapeno, and we get the seeds and the membranes out. It cuts back on the heat. If okay. you like the heat, you leave that stuff in. Okay. I do not. I'm glad you were good. This is good looking out, Chef uh, Chef Grillo. <laughs> A little uh, fresh squeezed lime juice. We always use the fresh squeeze. It gets those essential oils out of the lime. Okay. Gives a light, crisp, clean flavor. Very easy. And wow. um, a couple little teaspoons little. of salt. A pinch, if you will. And that's really all there is to it. That's all there is to it. You just mix it real nice. And uh, you can serve it with chips. Um, we're we're going to do some a little segment later. Mm -hmm. And uh, we'll show you some stuff to serve it with. But uh, that's your... That's your pico de gallo. It's well, that simple. Give me a couple of uh, a couple of little hacks if you do like to get this stuff ready and prep it for me. Yeah, well, uh, a couple things. Uh, one of the things with the cilantro, okay? Um, I like to chop it because we've got nice, nice knives. Yes. They're very sharp. That's a ginsu knife. You'd be yeah, able to cut through a can with that. <laughs> good one. But if you're looking to just get the leaves, a real simple one you can do. You take the fork, you take your bunch of cilantro, mm -hmm. and you just pull pull on it like so. Oh, and it wow. gets the leaves off. It stops you from having to get the stems in there, you know. And right. you get these nice, crisp, fresh green leaves, and you get the fresh flavor of the cilantro on oh, it. I can, I can smell that, too. Yeah, that's coming up. That smells really it's real good. real punchy. Yeah. Sure. Yeah, so fresh cilantro So when you important. do that, you take those. Could you then go ahead and dice them up with a knife, or is, do you just leave them whole when you, you put them into the pico? You, you could do either. It depends okay. on what texture that you're going for and how you want to present right. it. Okay? Right. Okay. Um, another one we've got is with these limes. You know, it's, it's it's limes are hard to get the juice out sometimes. They're really firm, a lot more firm sure. than, than lemons. So one of the things you do, you just roll it with the palm of your hand. You bruise it up. And when you slice it, it loosens all the juice in the pulp, and it's real easy to squeeze onto what you got going So you can actually on. slice it and take it just out of the out of the lime and put it right Absolutely. in just like that. Guys, you're writing this down. This is good stuff. Okay, we got one last one here. I'm going to talk oh. to you about jalapenos, okay? Um, these are chilies. They're not peppers, okay? Um, if you're looking for not spicy jalapeno, okay. look for the green, flat green jalapenos. Right. When you see them, they've got these marks on them. It's called corking. Corking. And corking is a process that, that lets us know that that jalapeno is is close to its peak right. heat or the, the capsaicin. So this one's going to be a scorch, a barn That's burner. That's going to be a barn burner. Yeah, oh good 9,000 Scoville units. Woo. Yeah. yeah. Not, so. not for me. Take a bite, I dare you. Uh, no, I'll pass. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> Chef Dave, David uh, Grillo, Cantina 76, right up Main Street, down on Divine. And you guys have a new location in Chucktown, right? Yeah, we're getting ready to open up on Coleman Boulevard, going into Sullivan's Island and Mount Pleasant. And we're super excited about it. That sounds so. awesome as well. All right, you're going to say, well, if we're going to marry this all together and have a little snack, a Pico de Gallo, the easy Cantina 76 way. Guys, that is really easy to do at home. And we'll put some links for you at abccolumbia.com. Don't forget, roll your line. Just roll your line.